Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video, and today I'm going to be doing an updated version on how to put a bongo cat on your stream and record with it. So, what you're going to do is you're going to click the link in the description on how to get the bongo cat, and then you're going to open up your files, and then here, let me delete this, and then you're going to have this, and then what you want to do is you want to right click on it, and then you want to press extract all right here. Once you press that, you want it will just put something in, and just press extract, and then it will make another thing. You can just X out a thing in the back, and you just double click on this, and then you'll have your bongo cat things that you're gonna edit. So first things first, if you want to like see what your bongo cat looks like, like right now, you can do this, and this is what the default settings look like, and you press escape to switch between each and every um setting for tablet mode or mouse mode. So that's the two settings. So now you can just X out of that and then the, the settings TXT. So you want to click, double click on that and then you'll have these settings pop up. You want to change the mouse to true, otherwise, there will be a line underneath the mouse. So you want to type in true. And then for the settings, you can, this is like the keys so when you press down on the bongo cat, it makes it go and do something. So what I like to do is I do W because that's my move forward button and G which is my edit button. So you get to see what I do and then you can do file, save, and then exit out of it. And then when you do double click on the bio cat, whenever I press W it presses down and whenever I press G it presses down too. So like and then you can also edit the arm, they can edit everything. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up GIMP which I'll leave a download link in the description down below. Same thing with the bongo cat. And then what you you want to bring your files back up, and then you want to drag the mouse B G dot PNG into the into the GIMP. So now you have GIMP right here. Now you want to take the lasso tool, which is up here in the top left corner, the lasso. You want to zoom in, and I like to get rid of this first because it's just annoying to have this on your stream. It's pretty much just a watermark. And after that, you can go to and after this, you see how like there's a outline you want to go to select none that way it's not there anymore that way and then you can draw a headband you can do every one on this now what i'm going to do though is i'm going to take this you don't ever have to download something you just copy the image so i'm going to copy the image on this and then i'm going to paste it in and then at the bottom left you'll see a file thing right here you want to press this and it makes it its own layer then you want to then you want to arrange the picture how you want it to look on your bongo cat so I'm gonna, and then you can always press transform to see, and then see how it's above the bongo cat layer. You want to press the down button, and now the background on the bongo cat's transpa transparent up here, so that way you can see the background. This is gonna look like pretty much just like Phase Muse, because I figured out how to make his. So what you want, and you can also add a gaming chair. This is the chair that I found looked the best on a bongo cat. So I'm gonna take that, and I'm gonna open back up GIMP. Control V, add, and then you see how there's a white stuff on the background. We can get, we're gonna get rid of that later. So we're gonna make it bigger. So I'm gonna bring it over some more. See, now there's a back. So now you make sure you're on this layer and you're going to click here and boom and then control X and now you can see the background. So now you can call it a day or you can not be done, which I usually would do something like if you're my, my um, webcam border is white. So this doesn't really it blends in. So I'm going to click this. Actually, I'm going to go to the bongo cat layer first, and then I'm going to click the, the wipes part, and then make sure one of these two colors is black, and then you're going to right click on the page, edit, and then fill with foreground color, because that's my foreground color. This is foreground, this is background. Now you can have this, you can just click on the outside to get rid of the stuff, but then I want to make it so there's no white stuff around the bongo cat, so I'm just going to go like this, edit, fill with foreground color. Go down, boom, how, and right click on it for fill with foreground color, and then you can, you don't always have to do select none, you can just use the lasso tool. And then, just FYI, you can do control and scroll wheel to zoom in and out, and then shift and the move back and forth, but 
I don't usually use shift, I use control. But, so now you have this. Now you can customize it, you can take a brush tool, you can draw lines like that on the bunger cat. Which I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm probably just going to like, I'm just going to like draw something like, like eyebrows on it. So now, now it's like that. Now it's got like angry eyes. And then, so now you can either do file. When you press file, it, I saw a lot, lots of comments saying they couldn't find overwrite mouse bg.png. It's right here, right above export as. You want to click overwrite mouse bg.png right here. And then it'll overwrite, and then you can just, then you can go to your Bongo Cat, and now you can see that it's on here, and then double click on it. And you can see now you have your Bongo Cat's like background and everything. You got the chair, you got the ang you got the eyes, you got the, the tables black for me. And now all you need to do is you. Sh I have an image of here. I'm gonna drag this over here. No, no, no. Okay, so you go to downloads. You can go to go back to your files, and then you want to take. Then you want to take the mouse. You can. I would. Then, yeah, you take a mouse, you want to go open with GIMP. So that way it will make its own new layer over here. So now it has its own new layer. I'm going to bring this over here so you don't see me on personal stuff. And then I'm going to take this mouse and drag it in. I did this before. See, this is what I want the mouse to be. So you just put the mouse in, you want to line it up however you want to line it up. This is my actual mouse, it's the Red Dragon. Mammoth 801, it's got like nine buttons, but that's my mouse. So then you just want to click on click on the bottom layer. Just I, I'm just gonna X out of it. That way it's gone. And then you want to go to File and then Overwrite Mouse PNG. So now it's overrided. You can X out of it, but I want to keep it open. Okay, so now you have this. You can go back into your Bungo Cat, and now you have your mouse and your Bungo Cat customized. So when you double click on it, now I have my very own custom mouse in the Bungo Cat and the background and everything. You can't change the keyboard sadly, but you can you can change the mouse, which I think is very cool because now I have my own custom mouse. And then you can change the tablet, which I don't use a tablet. That's usually for like OS, which I used to have you can customize like the up like where like when you about to press the keyboard and then left to right so you can open it back up GIMP I'm just gonna X discard changes X discard changes open back up files drag in the right so the right is like here let me show you right is G for me it's G so like this is when it right so like whenever you press my button is G or the bottom one like whenever you press G they'll bring down then you can put something right here so I am going to just put down like my logo probably um, and else. boom drag it in so now my logo is big. So you want I I use the United Transform tool because it's easier. You can rotate it. You can you can do you can distort it. You can do everything with it. That's why I like it. And then you, if you accidentally get rid of it, you can do this. You can go to your undo tab and you can go back and forth. I went need this, so I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna size it down. This thing's like the distort thing. You don't really need it for Mongo Cat. If you want a tutorial on how to use a GIMP, um, comment down below. So now it's now is the hard part. So if you want to, right now there's a rectangle tool for me, but I'm gonna press E, and it brings the ellipsis tool, and then I'm going to make a circle around the logo and make all the lines line up. That way it's a perfect circle. So now I'm gonna do Control C, X out of it, Control V, and then I'm gonna add this in. Now I'm going to put my logo right on 
the hand. So now you just go file, overwrite, right? Now it's there. It's now gonna be on the bongo cat right here, right here. So now if you want left, I'm gonna do the same thing. Just get rid of the right, take this one. Boom. Bring it above. Over right export for some reason it doesn't say it for me so I'm gonna I'm gonna rename it left so now it's the same thing as this so when I press export it will say do you want to replace it so I'm gonna press replace now export and then it will export and then when you bring back up your files it will say right left and both of them have my logo on it so now when I do this it has this and then when I press W logo 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 I think that's very cool and I think nobody else has on YouTube on how to change your mouse I was trying to figure it out and I realized nobody did so I went through trying to figure it out